Hi, well we're busy harvesting today, um, so we thought we'd make use of some of the ingredients to make a, a simple recipe, um, which you could eat straight away, or you could make the day before to take to work, put in the fridge, and, um, but it's very, very simple. What is it? It's, it's, that's a good question. <laughs> We're going to make some pesto, some homemade pesto, and we've got some courgette here, uh, which is a great way of using up courgettes. Um, you can eat it raw, or you can do as we're going to do, which is just flash fry it, really, just to soften it up and add a little bit of flavour to it. You get a lot of courgettes at this time of year. A lot of courgettes. So you often get a glut of courgettes, don't you? You do. And these, this is a nice variety, it's called Tristar, uh -huh. and That's it's basically it. three varieties, isn't it? In, the, in one seed packet. Yes. So you get a yellow, uh, a yellow, uh, the light uh, green, light green and, and you get a dark green. green which is a little bit slower which is why we haven't got one of those here today but we all know what a dark green courgette mm. looks like. So yeah nice variety and we've got um, homemade, homemade, homegrown, <laughs> <laughs> I made this earlier, homegrown basil, um, freshly picked um, and we've got some, oh yeah, god some made more. a mess of that. There you go, just a bit of a top up. Thank you very much. So there where have you, you've grown this in your polytunnel? Yeah, that's in the polytunnel, yeah. It does yeah. better and it's got a bit of heat. Nice and it's a nice yeah. warm it environment. Goes quickly, doesn't it? You can Lovely. grow it on a, on, a, on a warm patio during the summer yeah. or on a windowsill. Mm. And all organic. Just don't overwater it. Yeah. That's a lovely, lovely uh, aroma. aroma. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Love using it. So, um, yeah, so very simple recipe. So all we're going to do is Tony's going to chop half a clove peel and uh, chop up so we've got half a clove of garlic and half a lemon. Need um, pan on. We'll not just yet, I think we're going to uh, fry that at the end. We'll make our pesto first. Okay. So we need um, basil. Got to go basil. in. Just want the leaves really, don't you? That's it, yeah. We've taken all the thick, thick stems off because by this time of year they're starting to thicken up a little bit and that gets a bit, a bit chewy. Okay. Not so good. Already made our courgette for later. How much do we need? Uh, it's about 30 grams, so it's probably not quite as much as you got in the dish there. We might, we can always add some more. Yeah. Do so you just want a half? You don't want it Just want a half, half, yeah. And then that yeah. in half as well? That in half as well, Tony, yeah. Oh, I've got an easy job. You have. So we save the lemon for last, but you can chuck the half a garlic clove in there. Can go in now. Can go in just there. Just half? Or? Yeah, just half. We'll see, we might as well put the whole one in if we think it should be. Half a, half a handful of this. Oh, we'll put that in later. Can you put that in now? And I'll put a bit in. There you go. A bit more in later. That's it. And just give it a pulse. Stop. Add our pine nuts. Might better put them through there. Yeah. The top. These are, you've actually brought these toasted. These are toasted, yeah. Toasted. No, well I'm cheating because otherwise you'd be, you've got to just fry them in the pan for, just to barely toast them so they don't, you've got to watch them as they burn really easily to so keep stirring them low heat. But these are ready toasted. A little bit of oil, it's just uh, olive, ordinary olive oil, a good olive oil. Just a little bit, you can always add some more later. Okay. Yeah, and then a little bit more I think, do we? Doesn't look quite, Looks still a little bit. Oh, I'm getting my lid off. And another one. I have to scrape it down a bit. Yeah. But meanwhile, I can put the I'll put the pan on. There you go. Mm. I have to just around the edge. Always does that. Smells lovely. Yeah. Tiny bit of oil. Remember how to turn the thing on. Flame. Not sure. That like there we it. go. Like it. That's better. Can't always see it, can you? 
You can put a bit more cheese in there if we want to. And a bit more oil, I think, do you? As you go along, really. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. That'll do it. It's starting to look like pesto, isn't it? Yep. Let's stir around. Then we're going to just warm the courgette through for a few minutes. This is lovely stuff. Mm. Light green tri-star, this one. I think. Really just warming it through. You put your salt so in. Don't, you don't no, don't put the salt in. No, it's literally just, just a minute or two. Yeah. Put a little bit of salt on there maybe. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Because if you were going to grind it up in a pestle and mortar rather than bash it in one of those, you'd need a bit of salt as well to grind it all down. There's quite a lot in there, isn't there? That's one large courgette. I know, and it's yeah, it goes so long. Away, it? Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be fun eating this, isn't it? Looks like proper spaghetti and it everything. Does, it? There's not going to be any polite way of eating it, is there? No. You're just going to have to... Much healthier. Yeah. I think that's probably enough. You don't want to soften it too much, do you? Add this no. then. Yeah, it's and then I'll take the heat off. How does that come out? You have to twist it. Mm, you that one. There you go. Boil right. your, your spatula. Through. Mix it up well. I think you want to cook it for too long because you start to get a lot of water out of the courgette. Yeah, it goes a bit mushy. Goes a bit mushy. Yeah. That really is. I'm not even sure you need to cook it at all. You could just have it have it raw. Which is how I've had it before. Yeah. Spiralised beetroot's lovely as well. Mm. Carrot. Throw in a few raisins and a few walnuts. Makes a nice cold salad. And that's it. Oh, that's, that's simple to do as well. You can either make a nice lunch, that. eat it straight away or put it in a yeah, in a dish. Nice well, put it in the fridge once it's tomorrow, cooled down. Yeah, we'll give it a go, shall we? <laughs> I should have bought I my tongs. Cut all this up not to eat any of it. I should have bought my tongs for this. <laughs> a pair of scissors Lovely. to cut it. You do. It's incredible. That's fine. Hey. Yeah, I'm taking it back out it's again, Tony. Good, isn't it? <laughs> Transfer. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh cheers. Thank you. Fuck. Oh. Oh, that stopped. Anti pesto. That was good. Right. Okay. Give okay. it a go. Yeah. Haven't poisoned anybody yet. Like you say, no polite way of doing this. Mmm. Really nice. That is nice. The texture of the uh, courgettes, mm. lovely, isn't it? Quite a bit of crunch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Soft, but it's still a bit like crunch. Like with spaghetti, it's always very soft, mm. isn't it? It's, it's yeah. Oh, that's all right, that isn't it? Lovely flavour of that. Pesto coming through. I might put a few little chilli flakes in there some next time. Mm. Mm. That'll be nice. Add some tomatoes, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Mm. A few tomatoes, well. yeah. Oh, yeah. That is delicious. Mm. I'll tell you what we didn't do. What? We didn't put any lemon in it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but it is optional. So if you like, if you like it with a little bit of like your pesto with a little bit of, uh, I'm going to squeeze a bit of lemon on it. Bite. See if that tastes you can any put better. lemon in. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't have to worry, which is just as well, because we forgot it. I don't think it, I don't think you need lemon in it. Quite happy without lemon. 
Mm. 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 It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. Overpowers it a bit though. Wouldn't want mm. much lemon. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So there you have it. Pesto with courgette. Lovely.